Hello guys and welcome back to another soda review. Okay. Anyway, today we have the fourth and final, so final, Fitz's soda, and it is Fitz's Diet Root Beer. And what's weird is that none of the other sodas were diet, and I think they they do make um regular root beer. And this is diet, so and I'm hoping that it's probably not going to be like the A and W ten because that was not very good. So yeah, twelve ounces, three hundred fifty-five mil, caffeine free. It's this Morgan Company, St. Louis, Missouri, since 1947. Yeah. Diet root beer. But, uh, I've had Diet A and W root beer, and it's okay, it's not bad. So, nutrition facts. Well, there's only one nutrition fact. Um, 20 milligrams of sodium for 12 full ounces. And less than one gram of protein. So, yeah, that's the only nutrition back. But the ingredients are filtered carbonated water, aspartame, caramel color, vanilla, natural flavors, potassium sorbic, uh, it's only benzoic preserves, freshness, and citric acid. Phenylalanine contains benzene and then vanillin. So, yeah. Grape and orange were pretty good, and cream soda was pretty good too. But I'm not really sure what this diet root beer is going to taste like. Okay, well. That's the same, like all the caps. Premium fits. Smells like an AW. So, let's go ahead and give this Fitz's diet root beer. The taste. Hmm. Oh, oh no, that's not very good. Oh, the aftertaste is what kills it. It almost does taste like the AW10. Oh, that's not very good. Ah. One more to taste. Yeah. That's not that good. Okay, so my thoughts on Fitz's diet root beer. Um, first taste you get is sort of like, you know, like a diet and W. It's not very carbonated. It's not very like fizzy. And it's not very good. It tastes a little bit like that AW10, which is pretty disappointing. So, the first taste, without the aftertaste, probably a, probably would be a 6 or so. But with the aftertaste, it's going to be a 3. Uh, yeah, with the aftertaste, a 4. Because it is not that good. It is bad. And so, yeah, I'm reading this out of 4 out of 10. It's not very good, it's not, it smells like a &W, but not taste anything like a &W at all. So, yep, I'm reading this out of 4 out of 10. Um, I will not recommend this to, I will not recommend this. Unless, if you like diet root beer, then you'll probably like it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.